Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about upgrading from MAMP to MAMP Pro. So you've uh, been successfully using MAMP and now you want to upgrade to the Pro version. Um, I am going to be using Mavericks and I'm going to be using uh, MAMP 3.05. Okay, so as you can see here, I have uh, successfully uh, uh, have MAMP running and I've created a few hosts with my MAMP. Um, in my, uh, what I did, which I've seen as common uh, am amongst uh, MAMP users, is they'll just uh, create a bunch of uh, hosts inside of their uh, htdocs directory, inside of the applications MAMP htdocs um, directory, and they'll just create subdirectories here, um, which is fine. Um, and from there, they, if they type in local hosts, they can just go to their different sites, uh, which is perfectly fine. But um, there is one complication when you upgrade, which I'll go over later, um, if you have your host set up this way when you upgrade to Map Pro. Um, this third uh, host here is uh, a data-driven website, which is important uh, when we upgrade as well. You know, the site was built using Map, and Bill and Mary are coming from a database. Okay, so uh, let's get ready to uh, upgrade to MAMP uh, Pro. Currently, I'm still using MAMP. I just want to point out a few things first. Um, if I open my start page and check out my PHP my admin, uh, I'm just going to quickly look at my name data, which uh, Bill and Mary are in. Um, if I go to the names table here, we'll find uh, browse. So there's Bill and Mary. So. Uh, they're fine, and, and that's the uh, MAMP database I was using. And I just want to point out, uh, first I'm going to stop MAMP. I just want to point out that the actual files for that uh, these databases, it, when you're using MAMP, are located in applications MAMP DB. When you, uh, a MAMP Pro uses a different directory to store uh, the database data. That's library application support absolute map pro uh, db so since i haven't used map pro yet this is empty that's going to change when i upgrade or when i open map pro for the first time so i'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, put in my password and map pro is now open and if i go to my db folder now i've got a mysql subdirectory and a bunch of stuff down there and somewhere in there and i'm not familiar with the file formats but in there is my data so when i go ahead and start my uh, servers i'm going to be able to check my existing local host and see my sites uh, if i go to the general uh, tab here and whoa okay so this is another problem that commonly occurs um, uh, the um, when you uh, have a directory without an index.php file or index.html file it uh, can be if you do not have a certain apache directive set you will not be able to see the uh, directory structure so that's really simple to do in MAMP if you see something like that and you just upgraded or opened up MAMP you can go to the extended tab just click this indexes in uh, checkbox that's going to change some directive in Apache and if you save that and start over you'll be able to see your websites just as you have seen them before so let's go back to the general tab and if i press here ah there we go so we're back to where we were we're using map pro uh, sites are working that's all good and oops and if i go back here to my database example bill and mary are there so bill and mary have been transferred over to map pro this is now should be changed to my map pro website and uh, we're up and running using map pro Okay, so I'm up and running using Map Pro now. 
Uh, I've taken advantage of ManPro's capabilities here, added another host, so I can go directly to my database host and quickly uh, check out that page without having to go through a directory structure. Um, what I want to do now is add uh, one more entry into the database and uh, show you where some confusion might come up sometimes when you accidentally click on MAMP and you've been using MAMP Pro and adding data using MAMP Pro. So what I want to do here is I want to go to my um, uh, PHP my admin and quickly add uh, a name to the names database and let's see where I can do that insert uh, where do I do that here I guess that's sue and I think this will work and if I go back to my there we go okay that doesn't look very good but um, we've added somebody um, so um, what I want to do now uh, as an example is uh, say you've been adding stuff to your database uh, or you've been working on your content management system and uh, you come back the next day and you could have very easily just clicked on the MAMP icon here. You ignored that and you launched MAMP and uh, you went to your, uh, you figured, ah, what's the big deal? I'll just go in here into my uh, browser, like I always did, type in localhost, everything looks, oops, am I up and running? Oh, let's try this again. Uh, local type. And that's another story with URLs. That'll be another screencast. And you go to your database example and you go, oh gosh, what happened? Why is, where did Sue go? Um, problem is Sue isn't in this database and back in, in your application spam DB folder. She's somewhere in this file structure up here. So that's why uh, in your uh, application support, uh, library application support, absolute MAMP Pro DB folder. So that's why you have to be careful uh, of, uh, once you've moved over to MAMP Pro, you wanna make sure you continue to use MAMP Pro. And this is a simple example. Uh, you can get a lot more complicated if you are using a content management system where you made a few changes and every change you make is getting entered into a database and um, you'll come back and just be really confused. So uh, those are a few things to look for when uh, you're upgrading uh, from MAMP to MAMP Pro. And this is going to conclude the, our MAMP screencast for upgrading from MAMP to MAMP Pro.